This video will show you how to replace the spark plugs on a Mazda 3. You'll have four of these located across the top of your engine. Let's get into it. Okay, friend, let's get started on our job. Once you have your hood open, we're going to remove your upper engine cover. This is fairly simple. Take hold, lift it up and out of position. We'll set that aside. Now that we have the cover off, we have a clear view of all four of our ignition coils. Let's make sure we clean down this area before removing any of them. I'm using some compressed air. Now the process for one is going to be the same for all. Let's start removing our ignition coil. To remove the ignition coil, you're going to find that your electrical connector has a locking tab. We'll go ahead and press that in and pull this out of place. You can carefully use a small pocket screwdriver if necessary. We'll make our way under and then you can see that I can depress this. You can see it moving in there. Slide that out of place. Just a quick inspection of that. I don't see any corrosion. Let's continue on. We're using an eight millimeter for our mounting bolt holding this down. A thorough inspection of all hardware as we continue on. Take hold of the ignition coil. You should be able to give it a twist and remove it from the valve cover. There it is, friend. Just a quick inspection and we'll set this aside. Compressed air in the port. If you saw any debris making its way out, typically it's the seal on the ignition coil that's bad. If you saw any oil, you have an issue with the valve cover gasket. Now that we have that cleaned, we're going to be using a 9 16th spark plug socket. Start turning this counterclockwise to remove the spark plug. Get this out of there. There it is, friend. Now we can install our brand new spark plug. Prior to installing it, just confirm that the ground strap hasn't been peened over and hitting up against the electrode. Other than that, the white porcelain can't be cracked in any way. We'll take that spark plug and put it right into our spark plug socket. That should hold it for us. Now we'll carefully slide this down into the engine and start it in by hand. Now I'm just going to lightly bottom this out and then we're going to torque it to 14 foot pounds. Continuing on, we're going to prepare to install our ignition coil. We're using a tiny bit of dielectric lubricant on the very end that slides over the spark plug. We can take this and slide it into position here. Once you have it pressed down onto the valve cover, align the mounting bolt port, start on the mounting bolts, and then I'm going to torque that to 60 inch pounds. Let's just double check to make sure that's secured in place. Continue on with your electrical wiring harness next. As far as that electrical wiring harness, line it up, press it in, listen for a click. After that audible click, we're going to give it a tug, confirming it's properly secured in place. At this point, repeat the process for all other spark plugs. Continue on with your cover. Now, as far as the engine cover is concerned, we'll just rest this in position so we can gain access to our oil cap and oil dipstick. Press it down. Let's just double check to make sure that's properly secured. Okay, friend, we finished the installation of our spark plugs. At this point, you want to go ahead and start up the vehicle. Let it run. Make sure you have no check engine light and no running condition. Close the hood. Take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.